It's being billed as the largest competitive energy procurement in the province's history. Today, Energy and Electrification Minister Stephen Lecce made the announcement in King City. And CTV News Queens Park Bureau Chief Siobhan Morris was there to give us all the details. Siobhan. Well, the idea here is to give Ontario more energy to work with to do things like keep the lights on, power the electric vehicles of the future, and power things like AI. This comes after the PCs cancelled hundreds of energy contracts when they took office in 2018. But the energy minister says this time around the focus is on keeping costs low. Ontario is growing fast and so are its energy needs, expected to jump by 60 percent by 2050. So the government's moving to make sure Ontarians everywhere have the power they need. As we launch the largest competitive energy procurement in Ontario history, an announcement that will secure up to 5,000 megawatts of power, enough power for roughly 5 million homes. The province is open to all kinds of projects to make up this mix. There's a focus on nuclear, but also wind and solar. While solar panels mounted on roofs can help, the energy minister says critical agricultural land like this needs to be protected. It's why Ontario's plan will prohibit all ground-mounted solar on prime agricultural areas. We now will also require an agricultural impact assessment before considering any project in a prime farm area. Also requiring municipalities to sign off on any new energy project in their backyard. Lecce isn't worried about town halls slowing things down. I actually think there's more public, uh, more, more undermining of public confidence when communities don't have a say, because you still have those fights. Gas-powered uh, gas powered plants are also part of this equation, and that has been controversial because the province is planning to add more. Critics say that is at odds with Canada's promise to make the grid net zero by 2035. Reporting live, I'm Siobhan Morris. Nathan, back to you. All right. Thank you, Siobhan.